Tell us about Dark Tide. <gasps> oh, it is it is so good. It is it, uh, so. I mean, nothing beats bashing the crap out of like really squishy little enemies and like loads of them. I think like hordes of enemies are super fun to fight. Um, the the level design is is so creepy as well. There are I haven't got to this point yet, but I've heard that there are sections of the game where it's all in darkness, hence Dark Tide. Um, and the only thing you can see, or the only thing you can see with, is the muzzle fire from your from like shooting into the darkness, basically, which sounds terrifying. Mm. Uh, and and the sort of like pinprick, like two little red dots coming at you. You're like, that's a bad guy. Shoot it now. Um, <laughs> It's just Sam Fisher changing up his outfit. That's all. He just shot <laughs> Sam Fisher. He's got he's got changed from green to red. He's always Hi. out there. <laughs> yeah. Um but I think um for me, I had I hadn't really played that many um uh, first person shooters uh, like not not since um not since Goldeneye, basically. I used to play a lot when I was younger and then I didn't for a long time. I moved into more um RPG and action based things and um, solo player stuff and then getting back into FPS has been really fun and this in particular was great in the lead up to it um, so I, d- I played in the beta which was really fun um, and now you sort of have there are a few so, like buggy bits still going on and they're still working it out but you know it's fine I, I think the 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 way that the game plays is great and the different types of characters you can play at the moment are fun enough and keeping it going enough for me. And we're playing a lot of it actually, like sort of every other day. Um, and also, you know, nothing beats playing with your friends. It's, it's awesome. Like I, I love God of War. I love like being locked into the story and not speaking to someone for hours. But I also, I also yeah. really love being in a discord chat with, with three other friends and, and playing and destroying, destroying all the baddies is super fun. I would definitely recommend it if anybody wants to pick it up. Absolutely. Add me on Discord. Let's play. What's your What's your class? Who did you choose to go as? So I actually started off as the the zealot when I was playing in the beta, um, and then I switched to oh, what's his name? Is it the oh, I've forgotten. Is it the specialist? Something like that, um, or veteran? No, I think it's called the veteran. Um, and I basically stand back and I pop things off from a distance, so right. with my with my long range. Um, but you know you. You want to get up in the fray every now and again, and sometimes you kind of get forced to, which is, I, I've got no objections to that. You whip out your melee weapon and then you just go to town um, and you can sort of like swing in all directions and, and catch them when they're surrounding you. But oh, it's, it's great. It's great. I really wanted to play the um, the big Ogryn type character. They have this like mm. a, a massive dude who's kind of yeah. sort of troll like strong man kind of fella <laughs> um who's got oh the the voice acting for it is great um he's got a sort of classic you know lower intelligence level so they give him some simple lines um but he's adorable like he's really cute and he says some he says some silly things sometimes and some of the other characters like give him crap for it but it, i just think the even though because i think people were complaining about the voice acting not being as good as vermintide um because they've gone for a slightly different structure you don't have uh you don't have th- like a character that you play you play a okay. your own version of this type of character um which means that the, the lines i guess are slightly more generic um but in saying that you get to determine all the things about your origin so where you're from like your your planet of origin and your um your character type like what type of a person you are, or why you ended up in the prison, and all these sorts of things. So those right. actually feed into the way that you interact with other characters. So I actually think they've probably recorded way more lines because each version of the character will have a different yeah. way of interacting with another person if they're from a different planet. So if anything, it's it's more impressive in that sense. Um, and I, yeah, I, I've really enjoyed... I've really enjoyed the interaction between the characters. I I want to try and play the big boy at some point because apparently even his like perspective is is higher up, so he sees uh, like above um, <laughs> above the little squishies and you yeah. get to just like pummel them from above, which sounds so fun. <laughs> I like that because even even the the same if you're playing with your friends, even if they are the same class as as you, they can still be different. You can still tailor their backstory mm-hmm. and to craft a, a different a different massive ogre um juggernaut mm-hmm. type or the psyker or the um the, like the sniper class or mm-hmm. or the support yeah, class. Yeah, I think also um they're going to there's going to be more options for 
uh, subclasses within things as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in terms of that yeah, cool. um, and sort of getting more slightly specialized. And it does mean that you do, you don't suddenly find, oh, you know, everybody wants to play, um, you know, one of the, everyone wants to play the big boy. We can all be slightly different versions of that. Uh, and it means you're not just all all up in the fray and doing stuff it, it makes it more yeah it just sort of branches out in terms of what you can do within the characters because you know it, it it's a bit like oh, no this is a terrible terrible comparison but i don't know if you had this and i i would probably assume not but i don't want to assume anything but as a kid when you when you listen to boy band music uh you were only allowed to like one of each of the members of the boy band. You weren't allowed to like multiple <laughs> ones. You couldn't like the same one as your friend. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this yeah, is what yeah, this yeah. feels like. It's like, okay, so you've chosen that character. You've you've chosen uh, a Brian from Backstreet Boys. You can't also like Nick from Backstreet Boys. That's just that's just how it works. That's greedy, um, Sarah. How, how dare you? You're, not, you, you're only allowed one. <laughs> no, I know. I know. And I, Nick, Nick, Backstreet Boys was mine. Um, <laughs> uh but yeah, so my mum and my sister and I would always fight over who gets to choose first uh, in terms of boy bands. Um, and <laughs> and now it feels like it feels like it. Well, it felt like it was happening all over again uh, with right. choosing my character type in 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 Dark Tide. But uh, no, that is not the case. We actually have you can take multiple characters within into a mission, and you're not gonna. You might struggle a little bit if it's if it's not a balanced party, but like you can still enjoy the game you can still bring in people and who specialize in you know maybe being up front or maybe being further mm. back you're not you're not restricted to to the type of character you play it's great it's, i think it's really nicely balanced cool. in that sense so, uh, so quite and question I had a great time. for the like selecting your your character classes or if you're matchmaking or things like that mm -hmm. does the does the game do the thing which i always liked what overwatch did where if you've got a, a like your five or six your hero characters, it will flag to say, "Hey, you don't have a front line person here, or you don't have a support line here." Does it tell you? Or does it flag anything to say? Maybe work. Maybe think about the makeup of your team to say you've got a gap here, or you've got a weakness in this area. Maybe yeah. change class, that kind of thing. That's a good question that I don't know the answer to because I've only ever played with a full stack so i don't know our friends just choose our characters at the yeah, moment yeah. i i think there must be something like that built in though because it would seem like a a thing to it would seem weird to not have that if that sort of you know technology already exists in order yeah. to detect things like that unless it, and it's, unless it's it doesn't necessarily do. matter unless it maybe doesn't matter for, for the it feels game. like That's... it doesn't I, I think there are a couple yeah. of missions where we we didn't have uh, our sort of juggernaut chappy, um, and we struggled a little bit. But every character has has both. You have your long range and you have your melee. So it's not like you don't have what you need. You just might struggle if you're if the mission requires a little bit more close up stuff. Yeah. But yeah, even in saying that, I've never. There's only been a couple of missions that we've failed because we didn't feel like we had the type of characters we needed. But it was. It, it's not like it's impossible. It's just more difficult which i'm i'm not opposed to yeah know? i prefer you... that um that approach as well because it could be really frustrating if a mission is dependent on a very specific team makeup and you say well i don't mm -hmm. want to play as that character i don't have i don't enjoy playing as that character of class but the game is forcing me to have to do it in order to yeah. accomplish this mission whereas that's that's the experience you don't want to have mm -hmm. where if developers are tuning the mission to say okay you can you can get by with four heavies or all four snipers or or mm -hmm. you know whatever whatever the different class build up you decide to make you can you can get through it might be a bit more challenging uh, it might yeah. be a little bit more frustrating but it's not insurmountable it's not yeah, like exactly. entirely dependent on one of each class mm -hmm. yeah it's exactly that exactly that i'm trying to think we had a very specific example it happened very recently and I can't remember what the mission type was but we definitely went into it with people who had played before and they went oh oh this party is not going to be, it's not perfectly designed for this particular mission. Um, oh, that's what it is. So there's, um, I can't remember the actual name of the mission type, but essentially you have to carry these big cells and put them into um, into a machine in order to charge it up. So you've got to collect these massive batteries. If you have um, your juggernaut type character, your, your big boy, he can carry them and move with them faster. Um, <laughs> and so essentially you're not having to uh, fend off so many baddies because you're, 
you know, your your guy who who's got he's got his big muscles, he can carry those cells across the room way quicker. So yeah. that was I think that was the only thing that we were like, oh, but it's not like you can't do it. Your your character any of the characters can pick up the cells and carry them across. It just takes them a little bit longer because this is this massive, you know, massive thing that's basically the size of a, a small child that they're having to carry across a room. Yeah. Um, and I know how heavy yeah. small childs are. That's why my back is so broken. I knew you'd understand the context. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> it's interesting, though, because like, I think when you highlighted Overwatch, I think that's one of the few that actually does try and direct you to say, no, you, you might struggle here. Because a lot of them, like if you look at, obviously I've played a hell of a lot of Valorant, and with that, you always get issues with, I mean, you usually get someone toxic in the chat as well, screaming at you to play a healer, even though they <laughs> insta-locked an attack character. But... <laughs> Is it, but I always, whenever we get that, I reply as well, you don't need heals if you don't get shot, mate, and uh, and just let people <laughs> play what they want to play. But it's that's the thing that like you do. There are classes of character within Valorant and games like that, but you can play any combination. Um, but you you'll find it hard. We used to do it with Heroes of the Storm as well. Like we we took out a stack of five healers once to see how we would do, mm. and kicked ass, which was ridiculous. Brilliant. But like, that was kind of shit all luck. the time. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was it. You. What you 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 lose in um, attack power, you gain in the in you know survivability. So it became a thing. So so there's, I think there's always ways. But uh, yeah, I was just it struck me while you were saying it. I think Overwatch is one of the few games I've played that actually really does try and sort of help you out and go, guys, come on, you no healer and that tank really. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, re- I remember Overwatch. I think it was that as well. Maybe maybe other hero shooters have it as well. As uh, the the option to like turn off duplicates if you were really mm. if you really didn't want anybody to f- to four tank it kind of thing. Like you'd say, okay, no, you're you're not allowed to do that. I think that's more more the actual ranked competitive stuff. Is like no, you have to pick somebody in each of the classes for a ranked match and things like that. Yeah, Whereas, it wouldn't make really much sense in Dark Tide that kind of degree, but it's not competitive. It's, mm. it's PvE, it's PvE, and, and it's about splatter fest and having fun, and you know, bathing in the entrails of the orcs and things like that. You know, worshiping the emperor and and getting getting gory with it and having fun. <laughs> fun. It is very that. It's great. It's good fun. I would definitely yeah. recommend it. And it feels like it's um, what what was good. Uh, I think with previous games, so I've heard anyway. Like the longevity is there. And they support the game really well, and I'm sure that they'll um, they'll bring in loads of new content. And you know, people are probably storming ahead and and be- becoming obscene levels already. And I'm I'm sort of sat there, just like yeah, I'm just having a good time, just having a great hmm. time playing with my friends. All that matters. That's all that matters, eh? Yeah. <laughs>